Hey y'all, it's American Mom. We're ready to start season three of Sopranos. We're going to be watching episode one and two today, so I'm very excited. Richie's gone, like forever bye-bye gone. Janice left town because she had to. And Sal, Big P, got found out, which we knew was going to happen, and he's gone. So, I need to kind of see how Richie's sons and Sal's family, like, you know, they know who they work with. So, there's going to be questions and stuff. So, I'm, I'm anxious to see, you know, where do we pick up from there or... I don't know. Oh, and I'm very excited that Carmela is off to Italy with her friend. She needs to stay more than three weeks. She needs to just stay for a while and let Tony deal with everything. And then when she comes back, he can appreciate her more. We'll see. All right, let's do this. That is a long ass walk to get the paper. Mail and wire fraud, especially if the mother testifies in exchange for immunity. Come on, oh, yeah. whose own mother's gonna testify against him? I say focus on his garbage <laughs> business. Extortion, <laughs> interstate trucking. It's also the most likely to yield a prosecutable murder. Richie Aprile. Exactly. No doubt about it, the cartel had him whacked. Okay, garbage. Yeah, well, I said you could enter the basement to drop a wire. I mean, how many times do we have to impact his family's right to privacy? First, when the home is empty, we enter to take sound levels, determine where to best place the wire. Listen, I'll save you some gas. I'm just going down to the station I restored, then I'll be right back. You don't gotta follow me like yesterday. All right? I do like him. <laughs> Carmela's gone the same hours on Tuesday. Tennis lessons. As long as we have somebody on her during tennis and on the maid and Tony and everybody that's got a key to the house. The daughter's at Columbia, lives in the dorms. Why risk it? She's 45 minutes away via the GW. Put somebody on her. Any one of them breaks for home. We need to warn the SCT team to get the hell out of there. Do they all, they have a plan, don't they? You have visual contact of Princess Bay. Control. The joke's gonna be on them. They're all doing something that they know they're being followed. <sighs> they're not stupid. For what? I can't stand touching fucking shoelaces. You ever go to tie your shoes and you notice the end of your laces are wet? From what? Why would they be wet? I got no fucking idea. You go to public bathrooms? You stand at the urinal? Oh, fuck. Come on, oh, will you? He's asking me. I'm telling him. And frankly, it's important. Even if the lace is dry, and even if you don't touch the body of the shoe, bacteria and virus migrate from the sole up. You see this on TV? I got to watch TV to figure out the world. Germs. Okay, they're eating. Even if you keep your shoes tied and you're not dragging your laces through the oven. Oh, shut the fuck up. Please. Go ahead, cut it. Hold your breath. I'm clipping the siren wire. Pick it, Wilson. I mean, he was a sweet, gentle man. Oh, what are we talking you about? Your brother was your twin brother. Philly. Friends, like us, called him spoons. Somebody whacked a kid. A couple months before you came over. You big motherfucker! Ah! Okay. Identical twin? But you're with us now, so why don't you uh, leave the morbid shit back at Junior's crew and uh, have a happy birthday? <laughs> That's Hello. Parker! Hello. Yeah. Hello. Tell me. You want to commit suicide? Tie your shoes and have a bite of Brajol. <laughs> Okay. Still not. It's a joke. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Everything's all right, I hope. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's Kitty got this dot com job in San Diego, so we're moving. Mr. Les almost stole my board in my locker. AJ! What kind of retard rule is that? No board Don't at school. Why well, can't smile. we see how useful boards would be at school anyway? Like in the cafeteria. AJ, I want you to behave and be a good boy. Is he going to go off the rails? So fun. God, <laughs> did I get hammered. Don't you have a quiz today? Frost week technically ended at midnight. What did I expect? How could you sleep with all that noise? Uh... 
What is the most important right guaranteed to United States citizens? Right to vote. Certainly, yes. Special capers from Italy. Soprano kids don't like them. How obvious. Who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Martin Luther King. Hmm? Dash you. You know this. I want to eat. Don't take those steak knives out. Put them with capers. I take them home. An allergy to my pani soprano. Pani mają się z tego, za dużo jutro zabieram kliszki do szampana. Help yourself. That baby's gonna blow. <laughs> my dad was a plumber. Tony got about six months left to go on that lining. Oh, it's a shame that we can't warn him. Maybe during the discovery phase of his RICO trial, we can inform his lawyer that Tony needs a plumber. <laughs> Except that's at least a year from now. By that time, boom. Ah, uh, duplicate the lamp and put a bug in it. Got it. They can't just take the original one and put it. Ending off to you, George. Baby Bing's carpool vehicle. Patsy launches into the single malt diatribe about how people can smile on your face and still be a villain, and that he knows how his brother died and who's responsible and all that, Dad. You mentioned me by name? No, me neither. Did I get rid of somebody else just because they're not even sure? Don't let us interfere with your golf game. <laughs> Maybe a cop trying to flip them. Getting them uh, worked up with theories. I was talking weird the other day. What should we do? Well, we brought him over from Junior's crew to keep an eye on him. Oh, he was Junior. So that's what we'll keep doing. All this is fine. Everybody's in a different spot. I don't know where we are. Did you hear something? Yeah, I did. I don't know. Ten years. Ten fucking years he said this fucking thing would learn. Motherfucker. You said that, Tony. Are you doing anything over there? I told you not to put this shit down. All I know is it was shit out of luck till next Tuesday. We'll send somebody up there tomorrow, stake the house out. Fuck, is that Pat Parisi? Who? <gasps> oh, shit. He's getting revenge. What should we do? He's gonna kill himself. He's drunk. We've had every one of Tony's phones bugged for four years. But the guy says less than Harpo marks. Next Tuesday. The wire drops a definite go. Four years? Mr. Bingle has left the building. Nice hat. <laughs> Don't you dare flatten her tire. What you gonna do? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, sorry. Can you tell me, is the West Essex language school around here? There. It's not under the right duct anymore. Should we move it back? What? Two, three feet? Who's gonna notice? Yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. Somebody might. He didn't even see him at his house, did he? What are you doing? Receipts from Sunday's game. I said, you got a problem. Say no. I think With what? I think he's next. I don't know. I heard maybe you got a fucking problem. Like, you don't like being here. I like being here. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Don't, don't say you're, you're sure if you're not sure. And your brother. He scares me when he's quiet. You've recovered from that shit there. You put your grief behind you. You put your grief behind you. He said. Let me hear you say it. Uh... I put the grief behind me. So I got a job for you. Right. Might get a little messy. I understand. Wet 
Minimization, 40 seconds. The old one blew. Flooded the whole goddamn place. Yeah, I can smell the mildew, you know. So Liliana says you're an engineer. I figured maybe you could rig some system, you know, if it happens again, some PVC shit or something. So if it happens again, you get the overflow and you put it over to the corner over there to a sump. You chip out the, the concrete. 4-0. Yeah. They're not discussing OC. He knows. Now he'll start saying something. Two minutes. We're allowed to check back in. He's playing them. What do you think? Whatever. Well, how much? You know, I've had something stuck in my teeth for two days now. Jesus. Well, you gotta use the other floors. Okay. Episode one is setting us up for the rest of this season. Obviously. I'm a detective. I know this. Um, a lot of back and forth. They're calling the house the sausage factory. <laughs> uh, AJ's little Bing, or baby Bing, sorry. Carmela is uh, Mrs. Bing. They have all these code names, but Tony keeps seeing the same guy. And he's like, you don't need to follow us this time. We'll be right back. We're just getting, you know. So he's on to them. That's why I think I expected when they planted the bug that they're not just, he has to know they're not just watching them because of, you know, Richie's disappearance and um, Sal being gone. I thought when they turned it off, they have to turn it off for two minutes. They can li listen for 40 seconds, but then they got to turn it off for two minutes. Okay, maybe this was back then. I think you can pretty much listen as long as you want to nowadays. I don't know, but that's just weird. Um, I thought maybe he would know this, and I don't know. He would know, like, when to say something, but the water heater exploded like they thought it would, like, when they were down there messing around. Why did they plant the the hearing device the communications thing and a bought a lamp made it look just like his old one they were already down there why didn't they just take it or while they were down there just put the bug thing in it and the one he already had instead of making a duplicate then they had to move the table back after the flooding somebody's gonna notice that this 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 whole episode was just like a setup and i kept thinking okay something's gonna happen and then it would go to something you know, like, you know, Meadow at school, and I'd be like, something's going to happen. I guess they're gathering information, but right now they're not getting much of anything. Okay, the guy, God, was that in season one or two? When, uh, when one of our guys blew the other one away, the driver. Remember that? I forgot what he looked like, but they're identical twins, so. Same actor, probably. Uh, Spoons is not... Not very comfortable. Tony senses that. So his twin brother was assassinated and Tony's feeling him out. And he just, his silence and that little smile, it just terrifies me. I like Tony a lot, but he just, the guy was like, what? You know, oh. and then he was just asking him questions. Are you with us? Are you, you know, and he was like, yeah. I need to hear you say it. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, God. I thought he was going to get whacked this episode. Maybe next. I don't know. This whole season, are we going to be bugged from now on? When I say we, I mean the Sopranos. You know, our family. Our dysfunctional, fucked up Italian family. <laughs> are we? Are we being bugged from now on? This was like the introduction of they got into the house, the maid would leave, yada, yada, yada. Now they have tabs on him. He's going to figure it out. If he hasn't already and they just haven't revealed it. Don't spoil and tell me. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a good episode, but obviously it was an opening episode to, I think, the next episode. Because everyone's being followed. Carmela's being followed with, a with Adriana. 
pervert with the binoculars. He's loving that job. He's like, I'm so glad we said we'd follow Mrs. B. <laughs> he didn't say that, but that's what he's thinking. Uh, AJ's being followed at school. So is Meadow. It's like, Tony has to know something's going on. They're not just watching him at his house. Like, he know he's not dumb. He's not dumb. He knows what's going on. But I got to see what happens next. So, that's what I'm going to do. Thank y'all for watching this one with me. Until the next video and the next time.